A new study says acetaminophen has a surprising side effect. Every week, 50 million Americans take the pain reliever. Most people know as Tylenol. Researchers at The Ohio State University say it may change your mood as it relieves your headache. Dr. Holly Phillips is with us. Good morning. Good morning. Mark. I was really surprised when I when I heard the headline of this study because sure. we all take Tylenol pretty frequently. What did yeah. we learn? Yeah, actually one in five Americans takes it every single week. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know what, what's, what I found fascinating about this study, uh, we've known for a while that in addition to relieving pain, Tylenol also may blunt our negative emotions or our emotional pain. This study took it a step further and said that in addition to uh, affecting negative emotions, it may also affect positive feelings as well. So what the researchers did, uh, they took two, it was two, a group of two small studies. They gave participants a thousand milligrams of acetaminophen, uh, which is the active ingredient in Tylenol, and then they waited an hour. And they showed them a group of photographs. The first photographs were happy photographs, they should make you laugh or smile. The other group uh, were sad photographs, they should make you feel uncomfortable or even cry. Uh, what they found was that compared with people who took placebo, those who had taken acetaminophen had a less strong emotional reaction across the board, both to negative things and to positive. Why does it have that effect, do you think? Well, this study didn't establish exactly what the cause is, but we know that pain is not a local phenomenon, right? Mm. If you have pain in your knee, it's not just there. It affects nerve, nerve receptors there, but then that moves to nerve tissue, your central nervous system, and parts of your brain that affect emotion. But importantly, that affect both positive and yeah. negative emotions. So if you might relieve negative feelings, you also may relieve those positive feelings as well. So any pain medication that has acetaminophen might have this kind of effect? Right, that, that's, where, that's sort of where this is headed. Um, again, it's very early research. There is certainly, if you take Tylenol daily for, or acetaminophen daily for your pain, we wouldn't want you to necessarily stop. But it is a little bit of a red flag for people who take it every day. We don't want to blunt feelings of happiness. So you say don't stop, but what are you supposed to do? <laughs> no, we what should don't. we do with this information? No, and feelings are a good we, thing, we, I agree. Sure. I like feelings. You don't want to blunt those feelings. <laughs> that's yeah. right. When you, you have a good feeling, you want yes. a good feeling. Yeah. You want to you, you, you wanna, you you wanna tamp that thing down. <laughs> Are you still talking about acetaminophen? Yeah, I know. Okay. Is that just I'm like, just, yeah, just what, wondering. What, what, kind of good, what kind of good feeling are you good. talking about? Okay, so well, Holly, yeah, what should we do? We're getting into the yeah. analogy here. <laughs> right. Well, Holly, what should we do? No, no. Well, right oh. now, if, if, you, if you do take acetaminophen, don't necessarily change. But there are, of course, other reasons to be careful with it, right? It's a top cause of liver failure and overdose. Okay. We need to try and minimize as much as, you know, how much we take. And then we have to look at further research to see how, how big this effect is on our happiness. And Thank Holly, you. Holly, good Holly. Holly, Holly did that with a straight face. She said, I'm not paying attention to you. No, people. no, I'm not. I'm going to just continue just, what I'm talking about. I sort about. of let the metaphor do yes. what it would. You let it, <laughs> yeah, let it breathe. Let it breathe. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Holly Phillips. Go far enough. Thank you very much.